I just came back from some shopping at Aldi supermarket here in St. Petersburg, Florida, and although Aldi's is usually very cheap, they were actually even having a sale on top of their normally cheap prices. So I just wanted to show people what you can get for very little money in Aldi supermarket, and the money you save can be significant over the year. Uh, I have a Win Dixie very close to me supermarket, and their prices are mostly twice as expensive, sometimes even more on a lot of items. So you can save a lot of money shopping at Aldi's. My yearly grocery bill last year was $1,680, which comes out to like $32.30 a week. So it may not sound like a lot every week, but if you add that up over the year, you could save, you know, something like sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars per person. That's a flight and a month Airbnb vacation rental in some place in Europe or some other location. So uh, these savings add up. So let's get a look at what some of these prices are. And now these are a lot of this stuff is on sale. So. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more, but still, all of this cost me $57.01. So these generic barbecue potato chips is 9.5 ounces, and it's $1.19. Uh, you can't even get like a, a tiny like two ounce bag of Doritos or something for $1.19, so that's amazing. This popcorn, non-GMO, sea salt, Organic uh, six ounces is a dollar ninety nine. Also, a very good deal. This tea, hundred bags of blended tea, it is only a dollar eighty nine. This whole wheat bread, one and a half pounds of whole wheat bread, it is only a dollar seventy nine. Now, I was just in Winn Dixie the other night, and I actually wanted to see what the similar bread cost and they have the national brand called Arnold and the same type of whole wheat bread was about four dollars and fifty cents so I mean this thing is <laughs> very cheap compared to some other places so that's a huge difference uh, you know almost three dollar difference just from similar type of bread and I, I like this bread I think it's really good so it's not like yours you're sacrificing quality or anything like that. And these chicken breasts, frozen, all natural, three pounds for five eighty-five. So I'm really happy with them. They are very good, and um, I think the price is very good, under two dollars a pound, basically. Swiss cheese, seven ounces, is a dollar seventy-nine. So. Something like $4 a pound, also very good price for Swiss cheese. In Winn-Dixie and some other places, they are, I don't know, three fifty or so for the, the same seven or, so, seven or eight ounces. And this pasta is whole wheat, non-GMO, and made in Italy, and it's one pound, and it's a dollar nine. Okay, you can't even get regular non-whole wheat pasta for that price around here in a lot of places. So it's a great deal for $1.09 for organic non-GMO whole wheat pasta. Next we have these beans were on sale. I think they're normally about 79 cents. They were 49 cents, so almost a pound, uh, 15 and a half ounces, also a very good deal. Soy sauce. Just a dollar twenty-nine for this fifteen fluid ounces jar. Pickles, thirty-two ounces, a dollar seventy-nine. I love these, so I go through them a lot. And this chocolate, raisin and nut chocolate, it is two dollars and forty-nine cents, but it's seven ounces. Uh, the equivalent Cadbury fruit and nut bar, which I also like, uh, they sell in the supermarkets for about the same price, but the size is almost half the size of this one here in Aldi. So that's also a great deal. The wine, I don't drink wine a lot, but I just bought this one. 
uh, just to check it out. Uh, and it is $2.95. And that's about the cheapest uh, bottle of wine they have in Aldi's. But this Winking Owl brand, they have a bunch of different kinds, Merlots and Whites and all of that. So you can get a pretty decent wine in Aldi's for like $3 a bottle. This raspberry fruit spread is 75% fruit, so it's kind of a premium product, and it's $1.99 for about 10 ounces. They also have your run-of-the-mill larger strawberry jam uh, for about the same price. So this is a little bit more expensive just because it's, you know, consists of mostly fruit, real fruit. This barbecue sauce is 95 cents for 18 ounces, which I think is pretty great. This peanut butter is only $2.19 and it is 40 ounces. So that's a great deal. It's normally about $3.50 and when I go to other countries, I always look for peanut butter and usually the jars are something smaller than this and they're like four, five, six dollars or something like that. I've seen it even more expensive in Poland. So two dollars and 19 cents. Uh, if anybody knows where they can get peanut butter cheaper than two dollars and 19 cents for 40 ounces, please leave it in the comments because I'd be very curious to see if anybody could beat that price. These almonds unsalted are four dollars and 89 cents for 14 ounces. So about less than less than six dollars a pound which is also very good and the eggs are your run-of-the-mill large eggs one dozen 99 cents that's a good price for just regular eggs they also have the organic free range and all that stuff for like 350 for a dozen something like that carrots two pounds dollar 49 very good these tomatoes, two of them are one pound, and they're $1.79 for a pound. Uh, they're decent, they're not great. Uh, they always have the same kind of size and look. They're never super red. You can buy the vine ripe tomatoes if you want them, but they're smaller. Uh, so generally, I try to go to a fruit and vegetable market to get really juicy tomatoes when they're when they're in season, um, but these are, are fine and I'm happy with them. This head of lettuce is $1.39, pretty good. And this cucumber, this kind of Mexican cucumber is $1.29. Uh, they were out of the regular cucumbers and normally those are like 59 cents each for a pretty big cucumber, sometimes they're I don't know, maybe half of this size, something like that, and fatter. So that's a pretty good price as well. And the avocados, these are about average priced for Aldi's. They're 89 cents this time. I've seen them as cheap as 49 cents sometimes in Aldi's. So uh, that's pretty good price, good quality, good size. So I'm happy with the avocados as well. Uh, and lastly, the bananas are $1.45 for four of them, or 45 cents a pound. So you see Aldi's has a lot of really good quality stuff, in my opinion, and the prices, you really can't beat them. And one other thing that really cinches it for me for Aldi's is the fact that they don't have any of those cards that you have to carry with you and get points and all this nonsense you know when i moved here i got a win dixie card and i don't even have it anymore i took a picture of it and i barcode scan it when i go through there just to get whatever discount they have if i just need to pick up one or two items and it's such a pain in the neck and you know they show you your receipt that you saved this many points or some nonsense and you're going to get five cents off of gas if you <laughs> the guy told me last time you need to go online to register your points so you can start spending them or some something crazy like that i want things as simple as possible 
And I don't want to feel like a circus animal jumping through hoops just to get five cents off on my spaghetti or something like that. So that's why I like Aldi's because they give the discount to everybody. Just show up. There's no cards or membership or tracking what the hell points are or transferring your points to some money off of a gallon of gas or something like that. It's very simple, very easy, and great prices as well. So that's my video on what you can get in Aldi's for $57. I hope you liked it. If you like Aldi's, leave a comment below. If you don't like them, leave a comment below and let me know why. And if you think any of these prices uh, are cheaper in other supermarkets besides Aldi's, let me know and I'll be happy to check it out. But I think this is pretty much the best pricing you can get for run-of-the-mill groceries. So that's my video. Thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't done so already.